search all over mm. to, to find someone that will satisfy our hearts. But there is something about God that really moves the heart of man. Uh, when God comes through for you, even the, the, a drunkard will say, if it was not for God, mm. you know? So for me, there's so much that God has done in my life uh, in a season where by no one could have come through for me. And so that's why I say there is no one like you. Okay. Uh, sometimes, particularly in the Christian world, it mm -hmm. sounds like cliche. God mm -hmm. has done so much for me. And of course, he has done lots for you. Mm -hmm. But are there specific things that you can point out and say, this is really what God has done for me? Uh, it probably would encourage somebody out there. Well, um, I... I I, I probably so many people that have listened to me sometimes on, on, on media, uh, I have always said, give, I've given this testimony. A uh, few years ago, I was, I was really sick uh, due to peer pressure and I was paralyzed for almost one year. And uh, in that hospital bed, I, I just called out the name of God. And I remember Ephesians 3.20, the Bible says that our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly Abundant. above all we can think or imagine. This is what kept me going, the story of Job. Job says that I know that my Redeemer liveth, and at the end it shall stand upon the earth, and after my skin has been thus destroyed, then from my flesh I shall see God. And so I chose to see God even in that situation. But after reading that and having that in mind that God is able to do exceedingly, for sure, for sure, for sure, God came through for me. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm whole. I'm able mm -hmm. to dance. That's why I'm always energetic, dancing and, and, and no jumping. And when you get on that stage, <laughs> man, your size is nothing to go by. It's a lot of energy, a bundle of energy. Yeah. All right. Now, this particular song, is it really a new song or is it just a song that you've remade? Because it, it sounds a little bit like uh, the a, Swahili it's a, song. Yes. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's just a, it's a, it's a rendition of a, a common song. It's a public domain song. Uh, so we just gave it a different vibe, mm -hmm. a different taste and I am a, feel a, a different feel to it and it's I got a South African kind of feel to the beat yes and we are trying also to to try and create our own Kenyan style <laughs> <laughs> do we have a style a Kenyan style yes we have Benga mm -hmm. Benga oh yes Benga is Kenyan Benga is Kenyan okay all right and in particular this particular song and the recording it's mm -hmm. out of an event maybe tell us a little bit about the event and also the style of recording because we have you know, when you go into studio mm -hmm. and you record a song, then you do a video. This is a live recording of our, of our, of our praise and worship session, yes. again, which uh, looks to be a way that uh, you seem to be going. Yeah, uh, because I believe live music has life. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Kenyans, musician. No, um, well... There is something about live, live music, and uh, it's called, the, the event itself, it's called Praise Atmosphere. It's an event that I started back in 2018, and uh, it's a gathering of um, musicians across the world, but basically we are majoring with Africa for now. Why Africa? Because uh, something beautiful is happening in Africa. Mm. And that's why even the, the, the Western, they're running to Africa, doing collaborations with Africans, because there's something that we Africans are yet to, 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 to see what is it that really would make a white person like African-Americans to come and do collabs with us here. Mm -hmm. And so we started Praise Atmosphere, a gathering of African musicians. And uh, uh, last year, but one, we had an amazing lineup of gospel musicians across Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, Zimbabwe. Uh, this year we had Uganda, we had um, Tanzania, Tanzania Joel Luaga. We had South, South Africa, Mokhululi Bebe of Just Celebration. We had uh, Minister Mahendere from Zimbabwe, and we had Minister Elijah Oyelade from Nigeria. And uh, we are trying to just motivate each other and tell each other that indeed we can conquer Africa mm -hmm. with gospel music just to, to spread the word of God through music. Mm -hmm. And uh, doing live, live music in Kenya is not really, uh, people have not really embraced it. And so we are trying to introduce to get it. That into the system. Because when you go outside the country, that is what is happening. Mm -hmm. Most people are doing live music. And that is what is really, really uh, capturing the, 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 you know, masses. And mm -hmm. so we are trying to. Would you consider what you did, uh, this particular last one, successful? Yes, it was very, very successful. We, we thank God for that because uh, we had um, a big turnout. Mm. 
mm. a big turnout at, 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 at Sita and Valley Road, and we thank God for that. You thank God for that. Yes. All right, as we wind up, I know you have a very unique way of working, and that's by virtue of the fact that your producer mm -hmm. uh, is one who's very close to you, is your husband. Mm -hmm. How does that work? There are, that, there are those who feel that sometimes um, your spouse is somebody who you really want to not necessarily be away from the mm -hmm. rest of the day. So in the evening, you have something to discuss. Mm -hmm. But here's your producer who you're working with. He's your husband. So how does that go? <laughs> so interesting. He's my best friend, you know. <laughs> He's my best friend. And I, I, I thank God because he brought somebody that I really, I really honor. Mm -hmm. he's, he's my mentor. He's my role model. I learn a lot from him. Uh, he's, he's, he's molded me. And uh, I always say that he has partnered with God to make me who I am today. Mm -hmm. uh, when you make your spouse your best friend, then you can conquer the world together. And that's on the good days. What about those days where you wake Woo! up and hamutaki kuong? Because those days do, ha I mean, they, they, they but my, my, th There are those days, but my worst days are when in the studio, if I don't deliver, he, he, he doesn't joke. He says, first things first, you have to deliver because this is not just for you. This is for your generation. If you cannot sing, my friend, just get, step out. There are so many musicians that want to come in the studio. Are there times that, that, that stepping out is carried home where you're like, you know what, me at a Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This, I don't think there is any, you can say there's perfect marriage. You have to have those ups and downs. And sometimes I'll tell him, hey, to Kyoko studio, why did you have to shout at me? It's, it's like, did you want me to become, did you want me to pet to you pamper or pamper you? you? Mm -hmm. If I pamper you, so you will not. Ka kazi ni kazi. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, when in the house we we have to you 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 have to bow down and you know submit as a woman. But sometimes it becomes so hard knowing mm -hmm. that hey, this is Evelyn and Jiro. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the famous one, the singer, was in Lete. But you have to put it out there. I tell I tell musicians, my friend, if, especially the women, when ukifika kwa get, remove your makeup. Remove your high heels. You cannot go in your house with high heels and makeup and start, you know, trying to, to show your boldness and everything. You have to humble yourself Some as a woman. Some women might feel like that is somehow stepping down from the movement of, you know, women being equal to men and all that. How do you manage to keep your position and still be very happy and confident in that? Oh, uh, this thing of equality is really serious because... Uh, when God created man, he didn't start with a woman. Hello, women. <laughs> <laughs> he started with man. And so he had to remove the rib of a man to make a woman out mm -hmm. of it. And so, and he, even the Bible says, as a woman, we have to submit. But husbands, love your wives. We only need to be loved. If you love me and show, and pamper me, and you know, do all Submission those things. Submission comes easy. Submission comes mm. easily. It, it, we, it's just give and take. Mm. And I think possibly there's a misunderstanding of submission. It mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you're less. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you're uh, inferior. Mm -hmm. It purely just means that there's a way that people work. There's a correlation between the husband and the wife and how they work together. Definitely. And then another thing that I always say that uh, you have to allow God to be the third strand in your marriage, no matter what. Do not allow any other, not your relative, not your mother, not your kids, but God mm. to be the third strand. All right. Evelyn, we have to wind up as yeah. much as we're enjoying this interview very much. Thank I needed you. to look into that camera too right there. What's your message to Kenya mm. this year? 2020. Message 2020. This is the year of excellence. I want to speak to Kenyans and tell them, whatever you're doing, do not do a substandard. Do it with all your might, with all your strength. And remember... Put God first in everything. Allow God to be in that boat. Whether it is sinking, whether it is floating, whether it's going wayward, whether winds will come, but allow God, allow Jesus to be in the boat is the year of excellence. Something I always do with musicians when they come to studio, I need you to sing a chorus of your favorite song. Favorite. music, your voice, your favorite song as we wind up this interview. Thank you for joining mm. us. But uh, chorus of you, one of your favorite songs, any will do. Mm. 